Predictably, Computex 2024 has had the word AI inserted into about every third sentence of every keynote we've seen so far. The NVIDIA keynote did not disappoint, with Jensen sharing some of his personal stories, giving an update on the current state of NVIDIA's GPUs and just absolute dominance of the entire industry, and even teasing the new DGX form factor, some advancements they've made with networking, and most importantly, giving us a real nice tease about what their next generation of professional AI GPUs will look like without giving us any information about the 5090. However, in true AMD form, AMD also bragged about having a keynote in the evening, which for some reason was a big deal, and had a few tricks up their sleeves. To be frank, I didn't really expect to hear anything about stability AI, even though AI is in the name, at Computex. And out of nowhere, um, the co-CEO, yes, that's a term in 2024, Christian Laforte of Stability AI came out with Lisa Sue on stage about two thirds of the way through the AMD keynote and came out with some information that I don't think any of us were expecting to get this week, which is that they're releasing some of the weights on June 12th. And then he went to explain some of the really cool things you can do with Stability AI. He mentioned that they had, they were proud that they had open sourced these quote for free, which is again, interesting since all the information we've had from Stability AI has been that they're actually going to be charging for this with their own license. But anyway, they gave us some pretty interesting details. Christian Lafort did an okay job of presenting but it was pretty good. AMD was happy enough to give him a full seven minutes on stage, which frankly, I think they could have given him a bit more, even if they had both CEOs on the stage. So this is a pretty interesting advancement. There's a lot to curiously unpack here. And I think there may be some hints as to where the future of stability AI is going in all of this. So welcome to AI Flux, let's get into it. So this is the tweet I saw last night. Frankly, I wanted to get this video out a bit sooner. But it's a curious update. Uh, initially, there actually wasn't a video of the entire keynote, and I wanted to wait to get some uh, nice B-roll for you guys, and I just wanted to watch all of what they had to say as well. Basically, they've claimed that Stable Diffusion 3 medium weights will be released publicly on June 12th, and this is sort of still murky, because I got an email that said they're only releasing the small version, or just some weights on the 12th, and that the 8 billion parameter model might actually be released later because they're still not sure if it's safe enough, which is, you know, typical stability AI, but we'll have to wait and see what that actually means. So the tweet from stability is interesting. So they start out with a pun saying that the wait is nearly over. Today at Computex Taipei, our co-CEO Christian officially announced the open release date of Stable Diffusion 3 Medium for June 12th. And they say you can sign up for an email to wait and see if they actually do that. And they have this kind of weird wizard guy holding weights. We're gonna have to see what actually happens because the, the email they sent out is kind of misleading. This is just the sign up and they'll let you know if it's actually gonna happen. So this is the email that Stability sent out and it pretty much says this. So it says, have you heard the Stable Diffusion 3 weights are dropping soon? Our co-CEO Christian just announced this at Computex Taipei. They say Stable Diffusion 3 Medium, our most advanced text to image typo is on its way. You will be able to download the weights on Hugging Face from Wednesday the 12th of June forward. Now, what's interesting is they say Stable Diffusion 3 Medium is a 2 billion parameter model, which actually is smaller than Stable Diffusion XL, which in theory, you know, if what they were saying about efficiency and about making these models more performant and smaller, that's great, but that's tiny and we just don't know how well this is actually going to perform. So they mentioned photorealism, typography, performance, so ideal for both consumer systems and enterprise workloads even though you're gonna to have to probably pay for a license to do that and fine tuning. And they say Stable Diffusion 3 medium weights and code will be available for non-commercial use only. If you would like to discuss self-hosting a license for commercial use, please let us know below. Yeah, we're only getting the 2 billion parameter version, not the 8 billion parameter version. And that's a little bit of a letdown. We were really hoping to get something that was maybe a bit more performant. And what's funny is stability is in such rough shape right now as an organization that their developers are pretty open on the Discord about what's actually happening. And they are hoping that they're doing a little more training on the 8 billion parameter version. More training, they say it seems to feel like it needs more training before it's worth it. Hopefully manage to get the compute needed to finish training Stable Diffusion 3 8B into the model it was hyped up to be. So basically, it sounds like they ran out of money by renting too many Amazon GPUs before they could use them, and now they've probably 
ran to AMD to say, yeah, you can have plenty of GPUs. And they even actually make a joke about that at the end of Christian's time with Lisa on stage, which was not really well received. And just to be clear, I think my prediction here is AMD realized that outside of Anthropic, again, no one's really using the Mi 300. The, the Mi 300 is making the same kind of lame duck proposition in terms of its value and usability that AMD has made for years, which is we're making something almost as good with less software support in terms of what the current state of the art is, and we're making it cheaper. And the thing is, and AMD, I don't know why they will never get this, but that's not the reason why people buy the best thing. So by sneaking suspicion here, is obviously Stability AI is looking for a buyer. We know that. We know that they're circling the bull and have nearly succumbed to bankruptcy. They haven't filed for it yet, but we know that that's potentially a factor here, especially since they owe Amazon supposedly millions of dollars, potentially. But basically they need compute and they need money and they need to keep paying their researchers. So I would not be surprised if within the next few weeks, maybe within the next quarter, we realize that AMD with all of their wisdom and their excess cash maybe has scooped up Stability AI as an easy win to make an interesting case to use their AI accelerators. And it actually kind of makes sense because for consumers who can't afford to buy the latest NVIDIA GPUs or even, you know, new 3090s or used 3090s that are still in some cases, you know, $600, if AMD could say, yeah, if you're a local AI image enthusiast, uh, you can use these on our cards, we'll make sure our tooling works. And, you know, these are being created with our enterprise tools, and it means that you can now have more affordable GPUs to do this on your own hardware. That's actually a really compelling use case, and it's a compelling business case that I think Lisa Sue would be smart to fully realize and exploit. So I'm curious what you think. Are you excited that we're seeing, finally, an actual release from Stability AI that is open and that you won't, in theory, have to pay for? Do you think this is just kind of another marketing ploy by Stability because they're desperately trying to find a buyer? Do you think AMD is actually going to buy them just because they made this seven minute presentation in part of AMD's Computex keynote? Please let me know in the comments below. And yeah, so as always, I hope you learned something. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, and uh, so this creative uh, upscaler, uh, it, like it, we, we were happy when we were able to reach 30 megapixels on the on the H100, the Nvidia H100, uh, but.